Hello guys, welcome to how to fix stack. In this video guys, we are going to reset the Windows 11 PC. So I will show you two steps and what are the difference between two steps in this video. So first option you will get the keep the personal files and the second one is remove everything. As you know that if we keep the option is keep the files here like the these document will be saved here like training, PDF, any videos like these and the photos these will be saved here but the, all the application like VLC, Firefox, Google Chrome all the program will be uninstalled virtual box so this is the difference and if you remove everything so all the data from here including file folder will be deleted and also I, I should tell you the only your C drive is going to format here. So if you have any personal data on it, you can transfer the data to the D drive or the any other drive like E drive. So there will be no effect on these two drives. Only C drive is going to format here when you reset your PC. So you can back up your data before processing this method. Okay. So go to search bar and then reset this PC. Just open that up. And you will see here reset this PC. Just click on this option. Now, these are the two options I was talking about. So keep files will like keep my files will keep your only remove your settings and apps, but keeps your personal data. Like personal data, I have already shown you guys. Like these data will be saved, especially from C drive. So this is the meaning of this and if you and all the apps including all the software will be deleted it means that remove all the apps here. So I hope you are clear now and if you choose this option remove everything remove all your personal data apps and setting also. Okay. So these are two steps you can choose carefully here. So I am going to choose here remove everything and click on this option. Now this will also choose as two options if you have enough uh, internet connection on your system you can choose cloud download if you don't want to use the internet connection you can choose local reinstall this will be created from the your local drive and this will be from the microsoft windows i mean the microsoft server and 4 gb cloud download will take only cloud download you should choose this option only if local one is not working the local one files are corrupted and you have to choose this option that time so i'm choosing a local reinstall now you can say remove all apps do not clean the drive it means that other drive will not be cleaned up delete all files from the windows drive windows drive in c drives and reinstall window from this device you can also change the setting here like clean all the data delete all the drives if you are selling the pc you can choose this option delete all files from windows drive no only windows drive you can pick this option yes all the drive will be deleted here okay so i'm choosing this option so click on confirm here now click on next now make sure to plug in the charger okay okay i'm good to go i'm going to reset here system will be automatically restarted once you process the reset option and also your windows license will be kept and your window will be automatically activated if genuine window you are using since this will not take any effect on the licensing and all if you format the system that time you should keep the windows key but this time you should not keep it will automatically activate your windows so i hope we clear now in this process so it is going to take almost um, two to three hours guys depending on your ssd speed or the hard drive speeds and system information like the specs 
and if you are not able to reset the pc here guys you can run the sfc command here like open the cmd as admin here and click on yes button type this command and try after that if any issue you are going to get when you reset your pc so now you can see guys reset is going on and you don't need to do anything now just it will ask you your reason and select your region languages and all just leave it as default here so after waiting for almost 30 minutes in my system so select your english united state here click on yes and region you can select your region i am going to select here india okay i have to scroll down india select yes now keyboard select english india you can select as per your choice oh, i am going to skip this okay it is asking to so let's connect here so let me put the password here so i have entered the password it's going to connect it's connected next now it's checking for update you have to wait here again we have to accept the terms and condition we have to select here the setup for personal use here then click on next now you can sign in here but i am not going to sign in so you can see microsoft is forcing us to log in with the microsoft but we have to select on sign in options and if you are going to select the microsoft account you can do that but i'm going to look for the local account here so i have to select the second option here which was work or a school name the username you can put the password here i'm going to blank it now you can choose the privacy setting i'm accepting all of them next accept so as you can see we are done now so we have successfully reset the pc here so if i show you the file explorer so you can see only c drive has been formatted there is data in the d drive and all the software has been uninstalled app wiz dot cpl see so this is how guys you can reset the pc and you can get the best out of it so hope this helps you guys if yes then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching how to fix tech and if anything is not working like touchpad mousepad or other component you can check for update you can use the ethernet cable or you can do the t3 as well and turn it on and check for update